Across the GTA and the province today, teachers and other education workers donning black from head to toe in protest. This in response to sweeping education reforms announced by the provincial government on Friday. American Natividad at Jarvis Collegiate, a secondary school here in downtown Toronto. Even here, students say they saw a number of teachers participating in the protest, either wearing all black or donning black armbands. Now, the teachers are bracing for what could be a dramatic loss in teaching positions due in large part to a significant change in class sizes. She was wearing like a black armband and she was just talking about like the cuts and stuff like that and how it affects her and like school and everything. Did you notice your teachers wearing black yeah, or were black? Yeah, I was told that they were protesting, protesting about that, that cause okay. and I totally agree with them because you know, you affect the education. We listen to moms and dads. On Friday, Education Minister Lisa Thompson announced class sizes from kindergarten to grade three would remain the same, but for grades four to eight, class size would increase by one, and secondary schools would see the most significant change, with the average size increasing from 22 students to 28. And while the minister stated not one teacher would lose their job, according to reports of an internal memo from the TDSB to its trustees, the province's largest school board is anticipating a loss of 800 high school positions and another two. 216 positions from grades 4 to 8. People across this province who are wearing black today are saying stop the cuts. Uh, we are not going to stand by uh, while this government makes the kind of cuts to publicly funded education that they're proposing. Speaking to reporters today at Queen's Park, Thompson maintained no involuntary job losses, though the meaning behind that wasn't entirely clear. We're going to be consulting with our school boards over the coming weeks and uh, we're looking forward to hearing from them directly with regards to how many retirements they're going to have, how many redeployments, resignations, etc. The opposition also all in black today in solidarity with the teachers. Education critic Merritt Stiles paints a picture of job losses on an even more dramatic scale. We are going to see at least 10,000 teachers. This is based on early math that the boards are coming up with. 10,000 teachers across this province and other education workers too. Now the TDSB estimates that these changes could save the province anywhere from 20 to 25 million dollars. The province is still holding consultations about these proposed changes until the end of May. In downtown Toronto, Erica Natividad, City News.